gentlemen, I'm going to do my best today to convince you that Shrouded Fable just might be the worst set of the entire Scarlet and Violet era. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Sh to the extent that we are going to compare Shrouded Fable to Obsidian Lames. <laughs> In the T-Rex, in the beginning, in the intro, the T-Rex being Twilight Masquerade, that is simply because Twilight Masquerade might be better than Shrouded Fable and Obsidian Flames combined. One thing I know for sure is Twilight Masquerade absolutely devours the Shrouded Fable. Okay. So before Twilight Masquerade came out, everyone was like, uh, it's all ogre puns. What's an ogre pun? That sounds weird. And then here we are just a couple months later. We got Greninja as the most valuable card in the entire era. We got Eevee just doing Eevee things. The Kirin has very quickly became maybe my favorite trainer card of this era. The Kirin, for whatever reason, after I bought it, and I've stared at it enough times, I look at it a lot now, and I'm like, I love this Kirin card. So there's just a lot of cool stuff in Twilight Masquerade. And I think Twilight Masquerade had a great balance of difficult pull rates, but still a fun pack opening experience. Pack opening experience. It's a little phrase I just came up with to explain kind of how I decided the set's good or not from just having fun ripping open packs perspective. And that's going to play a huge role in today's video in which we compare shrouded fumble to obsidian lames all right guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start at the top and i'm literally gonna compare and contrast those two sets starting at hyper rares we'll go to sirs we'll go to irs we'll go to full arts and then we'll go to the regular set and we'll just do a one-to-one -one comparison really quick we're gonna go on arizona tcg because they got beautiful images and it's listed in card order and yeah and i'm gonna do my best to convince you that obsidian flames might actually be better than Shrouded Fable, even though I admit right off the rip that Shrouded Fable does have a pretty darn good illustration rare category. But even with that category of amazing illustration rares, I still think Shrouded Fumble might actually be the era's worst set, especially when you talk about what we have coming out in the next couple months. Okay? So, so Shrouded Fable, right off the bat, let's take a look at the Hyper Rares. So we have the Metal Energy and the Darkness Energy, a Hourglass, a Wooden Bowl, and a Petrant. Okay, so now let's go over to Obsidian Flames. So Obsidian Flames, one Energy, one Stadium or Tool Card, and also one Pokemon. Let's go back real quick. Now when I look at these two Hyper Rare Energies, Okay, let's look at them. There's two, okay. They almost look very similar. They're pretty dull. I'm gonna be honest. I think I like this fire energy better than either of those other two energies. Now let's look at the trainer cards. All right, we got a power glass and we got a wooden bowl. Now I'll admit, and guys, throughout this video, don't get distracted at all by the card values because look, over the next few months, if you don't think Everything across the board almost Shrouded Fable is going to tank once this EV set comes out, Team Rocket set comes out, we got the crown set, the new crown, whatever the hell the new crown is. It there's This set, things are going to fall fast, okay? So don't be distracted by the prices. So again, we have Wooden Bowl, we have Power Glass, I know it's Earthen Vessel, I know it's highly playable. But again, look at the artwork. Okay, it's got the cool ancient background. But let's compare that to Artisan. So while I admit 
Nobody wants to pull Artisan because you want to pull the Jolly Rancher Charizard. For a Stadium card, I, I like the house here on the side. I like the garden. I think the windmill is pretty cool. Overall, it's a very colorful Hyper Rare. And it's it's a beautiful Hyper Rare, to be honest. The wooden, the wooden bowl, the hourglass, very bland. So right here and now, I will take the one fire energy over either of these energies. And to be honest, I would take Artisan, you know, not talking about value, just artwork, whatever, you're ripping open packs, over Power Glass and Earthen Vessel. These are very unimpressive looking. And then of course, okay, Petrant versus Charizard. Um, we already know, okay. So this, this card is so cool, it's got a nickname. It's the Jolly Rancher Charizard, all right? And it's holding good value. This Charizard is probably unquestionably to, like, who is who would pick Petrant over that Charizard as far as these Hyper Rares, okay? So there's five versus three, but to be honest, I'll take this over those, I'll take this over those, and I'll definitely take Charizard over Petrant. So in my opinion, Obsidian Flames Hyper Rares 3 are strong, and they are just overall way better than Shrouded Fables Hyper Rares. All right, now let's get into SIRs. So first of all, we have Penny. This should not be Cassiopeia, or if so, this card should be in Scarlet and Violet base set, okay? I know a little bit about the video games, I keep up slightly, and I realize that Cassiopeia is Penny's secret alias before she is revealed to be Penny. So why are you having Penny first and then Cassiopeia? This card should have been in Scarlet and Violet base set. I'm just saying. Okay, so then we have five total SIRs, all right? Only five. And the other four are right here. We got black and purple, black and red, blue and black, green and black. That's what they were going for, okay? I'll admit, in person, you know, when you hold these cards, when you look at them, the texture, they, they are like any SIR, they look better in person, duh, okay? But these three, these four cards look like full arts to me, and they look like Pokemon that people don't generally care about or want to see, okay? So you gotta do better justice on the artwork, which they did do in the illustration rares, and it makes you wonder, why are certain cards illustration rares and other cards SIRs when the illustration rare you could clearly clear as day tell would be an amazing SIR and we'll get into that in a minute so there's the five okay you got the four of essentially the same thing over and over and over again and then you got Cassiopeia which should be Penny and this card should be in base set okay so now let's go to Obsidian Flames so we got Poppy, Gita, Pidgeot, Reverum, and Charizard so here's the thing my Obsidian Flames Master Set Binder in the back end is where I put the extra stuff in the last couple pages. The amount of Poppies and Gitas that I have back there. <clears throat> I've, I've literally put Poppy on my top 10 favorite SIRs videos a few months ago. I don't care about Poppy. I'm not even a huge Copperaja fan. I just like the big Pokemon little trainer vibe and they're chilling out. That card gives me just great vibes. Every time I see this card in near mint condition, I buy it. I would way rather have this card for every two dollars and fifty cents that i own basically same with gita i think i 12 13 i i own somewhere between 12 and 16 gitas okay so i'm, <laughs> I'm just saying yes they're cheap my policy is an sir that's 250 or three dollars you buy it okay and these two are beautiful artworks beautiful cards pidgeot reverum and charizard ex canto uh, you got it. You can't knock them for trying. This card is an extreme artwork, the Rev Room. Yes, okay. But if you hate Rev Room, maybe you don't like the card. It, the card tried. They they did a lot with this card. It's actually pretty cool looking. The Charizard itself. This Charizard, you know, forty six bucks. Yes, it's not as good as Paladin Fates Charizard, but overall, it's a Charizard. It's fairly unique other than the Palais and Fates one. I mean, when this came out, this was exceptionally unique and a very unique Charizard. Um, so Poppy, Gita, Pidgeot, Reverum, Charizard, and then Ice Q. I love just staring at the texture. The texture shows so well on the white and the blue, the light blue and the white. When you look at this card, yes, it seems dull just as an artwork, but you throw the texture in there 
and it, it literally does look like just an icy snowy tundra there's not a lot going on you got sky and you got snow and that card i don't know the card it looks great now let's go back to shrouded fable oh it's these four boring copycats and should be penny okay so to be honest i'm giving the sir category and again there was only what five total over here and there's one two three four six so there's even more in obsidian flames so i'm definitely giving again hyper rares to obsidian flames and sirs to obsidian flames okay so so far obsidian flames is definitely winning now let's get to full arts this is where we might have a tie because in full arts let's look at let's go back to shrouded shrouded fumble so we have 10 total that's it 10 this this is what you see here this row and that row so I like the Kingdra, it's clean. Kingdra's very clean. Uh, the Dabbing Bird, I guess. The Petrant looks okay. Uh, I guess I do like the Cassiopeia Full Art for sure. I have this card in English and in Japanese. It looks really good in Japanese with that little extra, you know, Japanese texture going on. But 10 total, three total that I like. Monkey Dory looks very bored. Okay, let's go over here. Definitely like the Charizard, I definitely like the T-Tar. I actually really do like the Ice Q. Basically, all the Terrastal cards that are full arts, I like in this set. Everything that's not Terrastal is not very impressive at all, I'll be honest, all right? So, if I had to choose, I'm, I'm putting Charizard, Tyranitar, Ice Q, you know, maybe the Pidgeot versus the Kingdra, and the Petrant, and the Cassiopeia. I don't know, call it a tie? I I don't know, let's call it a tie, I guess. But now let's go to illustration rares. So first, let's look at Obsidian Flames. So we got Lechonk, Pidgeotto, Pidgey, Broom, Caesar, Handor, Larvitar, Cleffa, Belly Bolt, Palafin, Ninetales, and Gloom. Okay, so what was that, 12? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes. So, Gloom is one of my favorite IRs of all time. Everybody loves Ninetales. So there's two absolute bangers you could put up against any IR in any set right there. Okay, Gloom and Ninetales. Now let's go up to Cleffa. A lot of people love Cleffa. A lot of people love the Caesar. You could probably put these two cards up against any IR in any set alone. So there's four banger IRs and then a couple others. Palafin's okay. You know, the Larvitar, the Handor, the Belly Bolt, meh. I'm not a fan of the Pidgey or the Pidgeotto. I know some people are. Yeah, all right, so you get it. So now, here's the saving grace, in my opinion, for Shrouded Fable. It's this right here. It's the illustration rares. This Persian is an absolute banger, okay? That didn't really make it any bigger. So, anyway, Persian is amazing. I love... Maybe I do love elephant Pokemon. I love the Kufant. The Kufant. The Pheasantipity, the Monkey Dory, and the Ogie Dogie. These three should have been SIRs. Tell me that Monkey Dory wouldn't be amazing as an SIR. Pheasantipity, Okie Dokie. Absolutely. My, I wouldn't be making this video. I, I probably would not be making this video if these three were SIRs instead of the others that are SIRs. And those SIRs were just full arts, okay? All they had to do was switch some things around and add that beautiful, beautiful Kingdra promo. If that Kingdra promo was up here with the SIRs, things would be a little, maybe even a lot different. I'm just saying. Okay, but back to the IRs. These three are bangers. The Cresselius bangers, the Dust Snower line looks pretty good. The Horsey's good. The Hound Hound Doom is pretty great. Basically, it's just the Tapu Bulu sucks. Tapu Bulu sucks. You know, maybe the Dust Snower and the Zorara a little, little overrated. I do like the Duskull and the Dusclops, though. So straight up, not gonna lie, the illustration rares are definitely good in the set. And if it if they didn't if it didn't have this, it, this would be undisputed worst set of the era by far. Okay. All right. So definitely giving the win to Shrouded Fable. I'm not crazy. Okay. So now though, we're gonna get into pack opening experience, and I'm just gonna get into just reality of what it's like. You know, millions of people, maybe you're, they're opening 10 packs, maybe you're opening a booster box, maybe you're opening th a couple three pack blisters and an ETB. You're gonna open, all kinds of people are gonna open different amounts of packs from different sources. And so, variety, the pack opening experience. Are you having fun opening the pack? 
or are you just seeing the same crap over and over and over and not pulling anything okay so shrouded fable has 64 total cards in its regular set so here's 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 64 okay so there, there it is now you minus the EX's and you minus the three A specs, you're down to like 50, okay? Obsidian Flames, and I get it. I know one's a regular set, one's a specialty set. That's why one's drastically smaller. But Obsidian Flames has 197 cards in its regular set. That means 190 or whatever reverse hollows, plus all these other artworks, okay? That's a lot. That's massive. That's literally three times as big of a set. That means when you're opening pack after pack after pack, the two reverse hollow slots, you have like 180 different options as opposed to like 50 different options in Shrouded Fable. The hollow rares. Obsidian Flames has 10 hollow rares. Shrouded Fumble has seven. 10, 10 for Obsidian Flames is minuscule. It was the smallest ever up until this set. For this set to have seven total, literally the amount of packs with one hollow rare in every pack, you are getting so many duplicates. You are rolling your eyes. You're getting frustrated. You're like, oh my God, I just pulled the 10th Dusknor or the Zorora or whatever hollow over and over and over again. That is not fun to somebody who's just getting into the hobby and buys 10 or 20 packs or whatever when they're just seeing the same reverse hollows over and over or the same hollow rare in that slot over and over, okay? So, 197 versus 64 and then 10 versus 7. So basically, what I'm trying to get at is Shrouded Fable has an absolutely abysmal pack opening experience, and here's why. Seven holo rares, plus only 57 other regular cards that could also be in the two reverse holo slots as reverse holos, plus difficult pull rates, plus not popular Pokemon. Those four things, only seven holo rares, only 57 other regular set cards or reverse hollows. Terrible pull rates, not very exciting or cool Pokemon to chase. That is a terrible pack opening experience. So, you take someone new to the hobby, you give them 100 packs of Shrouded Fable, you give them 100 packs of Obsidian Flames from various random sources. What I'm telling you is I honestly believe that person will have way, way, way more fun opening obsidian flames and maybe pulling a charizard or pulling you know whatever the nine tails just actually pulling stuff okay whereas you give that same person 100 packs a shrouded fable you might not you might pull one sir sure but you're gonna pull 20 15 of the same hollow rare you're gonna pull probably two or three of the same, I mean, if you're lucky, pull three full alerts. All I'm saying is, a tiny set with difficult pull rates and unpopular Pokemon results in a very boring, oh my gosh, pack opening experience. I personally was sick of Shrouded Fable after about 200 bucks worth. In Obsidian Flames, I still randomly open to this day even though I've completely master set the set and own like 15 Gitas and Poppies. So anyway, I'm just saying, for better or worse, I am honest. I think a couple months down the road with all these new crazy sets that are being hyped coming out, Shrouded Fable, I mean, it's a specialty set. Just compare it to Crown Zenith. Imagine opening Crown Zenith and then opening Shrouded Fable. Like, one is an incredible pack opening experience and value. The other one is just the the set of missed opportunity. That's what Shrouded Fable is. Put Kingdra in there as a Chase SIR. Flip around those IR artworks with some of those just straight up full arts for SIRs. You know, maybe you got something. But yes, the Illustration Rare Gallery is amazing for sure. 
thank god it has that for it but anyway guys that's all i got let me know in the comment section down below which one you like obsidian flames or shrouded fable or neither you know it, it would be interesting but i'm making this video because it's not only how i personally feel i just i hear it echoing throughout the pokemon community and yeah so once i kind of got that confirmation i was like you know what i'm gonna make a video about it anyway that's all i got like comment subscribe deuces